What's up guys? Today I have an iPad Air which is not turning on. It's totally dead and it's been on charging for like a couple hours now but if you press home button or power button it does not show any sign of life whatsoever. So today I'm going to show you how can you jump start an iPad, any model of iPad like that just to get it going. So all you need is, um, I have here this heat gun. And if you don't have the heat gun, you can use the hair dryer. So all it needs is you turn it around and on the back, the battery is right in the middle here. So we're gonna heat up the battery. Like, uh, I'll, I'll tell you the temperature and everything. So you're gonna heat up the battery. Uh, right in the middle so the temperature I can uh, adjust on this heat gun and currently it's at 80 degrees Celsius uh, you gotta make sure don't stop at one place and keep it moving even though you're using hair dryer you can uh, do the same and keep it moving in the middle area the big battery is right here in the middle so you can, depending on the temperature, you can heat it up for at least, I would say, two to three minutes. And one thing you want to make sure that it's not burning hot. It's okay right now. So, yeah, I tried everything. I tried cleaning the charging port and I gave it a hard reset. But sometimes, you know, if, if you haven't used your iPad for a long time, so the battery is completely dead, so it does not hold the initial charge. So by doing this, you just giving a jump start to a battery. And if this solution doesn't work, I'll be trying something else. But I'm sure it's the, it's the battery problem because once you plug in the cable, it should show at least the the red battery thingy so i think that's good enough for now because i had it on the heat pad as well before and now turn it around and press okay so i can see the battery i don't know if you can see in the light or not i can see the battery in the front if you press the home button So if you leave it on charging for a couple minutes, it will boot up, I'm pretty sure. But depending on the charger, but I always recommend using the original Apple charger. So when, once it turns on, I'll show you that it's uh, working. So guys, after a few minutes uh, of charging, finally boot it up. And right now it's at 2% and the good thing is it's fully functional it's asking me to update the software but anyway this was just a, a, a trick i thought i should share with my audience and uh, it's not necessarily everybody's gonna have the same problem but if you haven't used your ipad in a while this could be one of the problem just showing the back it's the same ipad and uh, just like you know that you give a jump start to a car it's a kind of same concept so heating up a battery it worked and the good thing is it's fully functional now thank you for watching the video and i'll be making more videos on ipads without a home button how to give them a hard reset and all that and so please subscribe the channel and i'll see you later <laughs>